What's up, investors? It's Drew Haynes, back with another video on the channel, The Real Drew Haynes. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell notification so you never miss out on some valuable content that I'm putting out. Today, we're gonna to do a deep dive into a topic that can really impact your real estate investing game, principal reduction. So grab your notepads and let's get started. So I'm sure you guys have heard the term principal reduction thrown around in the real estate investing world quite a bit. What exactly does principal reduction mean? Well, I'm about to tell you. It's actually a really powerful concept that can build wealth and equity in your investments over time. Simply put, principal reduction refers to the gradual decrease of the outstanding loan balance on your property. Let's break down how principal reduction works using an example. Imagine you purchase a rental property using a mortgage. Every month when you go into the bank, make your mortgage payment, a portion of that payment is going to go to the interest on the loan, and then the remaining portion will go to the balance on the loan that's due at the time, reducing your principal amount that you owe the bank. Over time, as you constantly make these mortgage payments, the principal amount of your loan decreases. This happens because the interest amount is based off the principal amount that's due on your loan. As the principal reduces, the interest portion of your monthly payment decreases also. Now, why is principal reduction such a big deal in the real estate investing world? Well, there's a couple key reasons. First, as your principal balance decreases, your equity in the property increases. Equity is the difference between the property's market value and the remaining loan balance. The more equity you have, the more leverage you possess. And that's a good thing. If you're doing your real estate investing right, leverage is gonna be one of your number one things. You want equity so you can leverage it at the bank. Second, as you continue to pay down the principal, your overall interest decreases over time. This means that every month when you make that payment, you're putting more towards building your wealth instead of just paying the lender interest. All right, now let's talk about a couple of strategies to accelerate principal reduction. One popular one is making extra payments towards the principal. This can be a lump sum payment, or this can be where you just make a extra every single month over what your payment actually is. Make sure the extra though, you're telling them you want to pay towards the principal. Same way if you go in and make a lump sum payment, tell them you want to pay towards the principal, no note to go to the interest. Every extra dollar you put towards the principal shaves off interest and shortens the overall term of the loan. Another effective method is to refinance your mortgage. If you're able to secure a lower rate, that's what a lot of people did beginning of COVID when rates went to pretty much almost nothing. A lot of people refinanced and got a lower rate so that every month you're paying less interest, you're paying more towards the principal. But if you were to do this and you keep making the same payment you was before, because say your cash flow is good on your rental property before you refinance, and you keep making that same payment, you're gonna accelerate the pay down of your loan, gives you more equity, more leverage. Um, if you had to refinance because your cash flow wasn't good and that was an opportunity time for you to refinance and get better cash flow, I understand you can't do that and that might not be what you want to do. But in this case, you could put the extra money to work on another rental property or put the extra money to work by paying it down on that property so you're building equity faster and then you can leverage that property later. So to lump sum it all up, principal reduction is really crucial to real estate investing. It's not just about buying and selling properties. It's a lot about building equity in your properties, maximizing your wealth, and creating a strong financial foundation for your future. This is why you'll hear me talk a lot about buying in areas that appreciate a lot too. That goes hand in hand with principal reduction. When you're buying these properties and looking for these properties, try to make sure it's in a good area that's gonna appreciate because as you're paying down the principal and you're getting the principal reduction, hopefully it's going up in value a little bit every month too and appreciating. That way you're building that gap between the balance and what it's worth and building your equity, which builds your wealth. Without equity, you pretty much don't have wealth. Uh, when you go to the bank and they want to know your net worth, it's what you owe on stuff versus what it's worth. And that's your net worth. So if you have a $100,000 house and it's worth $100,000 and you have no other assets, you have zero net worth. So make sure that you're trying to structure your deal where you can pay it down fairly quick. Uh, some of these people go 40 years on these loans. I wouldn't do that. But just something to think about, I always put mine on a 15 year note, pays it down pretty quick. And I know that when I go look at a property, 
I want to cash flow for 15 year note. I kind of know what the numbers are when I go look at the properties. So think about that too. Think about what your finance is going to be when you look at the deal round about how many years, how, many, how much your interest is going to be um, and you base your cash flow off that. But you want to try to pay them down as much as you can every month so that you're building that equity. But like I said, appreciation is probably one of the number one things because hopefully it's appreciating a lot more every month and then you're paying it down too and you're building that gap. You want that equity, you want to build that wealth. I can't stress that enough. That's how this real estate game is conquered. If you're just going for cash flow, you're going to be hurting years down the road when your property needs money put into it, new roof, new flooring, new whatever, because it's going to happen. Properties need money. If you don't have the equity there, you're not going to do it just off cash flow. So that's kind of wraps it up for the day. It's just another quick video about what principal reduction is. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, please click the like button. Subscribe, please. Get out there, look at these properties, guys, and try to make some deals. You guys got to be putting in offers and stuff to get deals done. I put in a bunch of offers and don't get a lot of them taken, but that's okay. If I'm not putting in offers, then I'm not moving forward. I can't get a deal done without putting in an offer. So that's just another piece of advice too. But as always, get out there and make it happen, guys.